morning dear aspirant so daily we have seen the current affairs analysis in a very short and precise way which will helpful for you all the for all the competitive exam particularly civil service exam preliminary so in that note today news is imposition of emergency by indira gandhi government so this comes under gs2 polity so pm modi on the first day of 18th lok sabha says that the country would be entering the 50th anniversary of the year of imposition of emergency led by indira gandhi congress government so it will be our endeavor that we never see such ds again says by mr modi so for prelims we need to study about what are the emergency provisions in constitution so emergency provisions are deal within article 352 to 360 of part 18 of indian constitution the very basic purpose is to protect the constitution uh, the democratic system financial stability and sovereignty unity integrity of the nation so indian constitution provides three kinds of emergency this is very important that is national emergency president rule financial emergency national emergency is from article 352 to 354 Uh, and uh, president rule is 355 to 57 and financial emergency is 360 so what is national emergency national emergency can be imposed when the entire nation or not only the entire nation even if a small part of the country is threatened by some extraordinary situation so again the national emergency is classified into two types that is internal emergency and external emergency so what are the constitutional process to declare the national emergency when there is a war or external aggression or armed rebellion which threaten the security of india uh, then the president the only the president this is very important is authorized by article 352 to proclaim a national emergency the term armed rebellion replaced internal disturbance by the 44th constitutional amendment act 1978 so president may declare a national emergency even before the occurrence of the actual threat see parliamentary approval within one month after the date of its issuance it must be ratified by both houses of parliament if the lok sabha is not in session or it has been dissolved the proclamation must be approved within 30 days from the first sitting of the newly constituted lok sabha so the emergency will be effect for 6 months and even it can be extended that period can be indefinite but it should be approved by the special majority president may revoke the state of emergency at any time so next is national investigation agency so nia charge sheeted eight people sus- suspected to be the part of transnational syndicate trafficking rohingya muslims and bangladesh nationals so nia is actually functioning as the central counter terrorism law enforcement agency it also aims to set the standards of excellence in counter terrorism and other national security related investigation the parent ministry is union minister of home affairs nia was created after 2008 mumbai terror attacks the agency is empowered to deal with terror related crimes across states without special permission from the states it works under under the written proclamation from the ministry of home affairs state government may request the central government to hand over the investigation of a case to nia investigation cases should come under the offences scheduled in nia officers of the nia will have the power to investigate scheduled offences committed outside india headquarters is located in delhi essential commodity act so this comes under gs3 economy so the center invoked the essential commodity act to impose stock limit on the food grain the stock limit order will be valid till march 2025 essential commodity act 1955 was legislated at a time when a country was facing a scarcity of food stuffs so country was dependent on imports so to feed their population so to prevent hoarding and black marketing of food stuff 
Essential Commodity Act was enacted in 1955. So the objective is this is used to curb inflation by allowing the center to enable control by state governments of trade in a wide variety of commodities. There is no specific definition of essential commodity and section 2a states that an essential commodity means a commodity specified in the schedule of the act. So the center if it is satisfied that it is necessary to do can notify an item as an essential uh, essential commodity. Ministry of Consumer Affairs will implement this agency. Thank you. If you have any queries, feel free to contact this number. Have a great day.